I knew I wanted to feature Rainbow Energy one last time, and the obvious partner for that is Spiritomb with Rainbow Energy. Let's just pull it up here. Uh, this card provides colorless energy, but while it's in play, this card provides every type of energy, but provides only one energy at a time. And when you attach this card from your hand to one of your Pokémon, put one damage counter on that Pokémon. So obviously Spiritomb, which does more damage the more damage counters it has on it, is the perfect partner. But I've done way too many Spiritomb decks recently, so I decided to go with Destiny Stinger Beedrill. Yes, it's a stage two, but Destiny Stinger is really good. For a single energy, a grass energy, but Rainbow fills that requirement, you can use this attack only if this Pokemon has any damage counters on it. Both active Pokemon are knocked out. If that sounds insane, that's because it is. It is so good against the VMAXs and the tag teams. You don't have to worry about what your opponent's doing, you just get a damage counter on this, you attach an energy, and you take a knockout. It's literally as simple as that. There's nothing else to do. You just attach an energy, have a damage counter, and you take a knockout. The obvious drawback is that your Beedrill gets knocked out. That's where Lily's Polka Doll comes into play. Once your Beedrill gets knocked out, you put the Polka Doll in the active, and then you just let it sit there, hope they don't bosses around it. But this is how you get around, you know, you just lost your active and then it's your opponent's turn so they have a chance to knock somebody out, but Lily's Poker Doll is definitely the answer there. With Rebel Clash, the obvious good thing we got was Turfield Stadium, which is just a stadium that lets you grab an evolution, and obviously the deck does survive rotation. You know, even though we're losing Rainbow Energy, because that's in Celestial Storm, uh, and we're losing Netball, which also hurts, but there's still gonna be Spiritomb and Jinx. Those aren't rotating, so you can just up the Spiritomb count, up the Jinx count, and just move the damage counters to your Beedrill, and that actually might be easier. <laughs> it's tough to say right now. And there's also the Spike Mist Stadium, which just puts damage counters on a Pokemon that switches from the active. That's coming in Darkness Ablaze. So this iteration of the deck is leaving, but Beedrill is far from gone. Uh, and it's a little tough against other one prizers, but regardless, this deck does so well against three prize decks or just GX decks. And if you're on a budget and you want to build this deck, you know, it's pretty cheap to make. Uh, Jirachi is pretty cheap right now, but if you can't afford Jirachi, just swap it out for an Odno. And that's about it. You know, I think Jirachi is the most expensive card in the deck, and it's not much right now. You can make it for not a lot. So let's do this. It's my destiny. Let's get some quick wins and let's show Beedrill. Okay, Pure Grass is usually a good sign that it's a tag team deck. Uh, and a Rowlet coin is also a good sign. Um, hopefully, hopefully this works out. So they'll let me go first if it's Rowlet. Okay, it is. It's perfect. So I can easily win this one. Um, Turfield actually helps them, but that's not the worst thing in the world. I will have to quick ball a Turfield. Uh, okay, so I'm going to have a research for next turn. That's kind of painful, but it's not the end of the world. So I'll quick ball that, and I think I have to get a Weedle. Okay. No, I just prized the Ditto. I prized the Ditto, and that's about it. So I have Great Catcher. I have a Pokemon Catcher. I think I'll be okay here. Um, hopefully I get like a Netball or something. Perfect. Uh, the research, I play two ordinary rods, so I think the netball makes the most sense here. And I, I know I should probably get the energy, but I'm going to research next turn. That's seven cards. How can I, how can I whiff, right? Uh, and I won't actually, do I risk it? Because I can Turfield this turn. Yeah, I think I do. And I just go and get a Kakuna. And the reason I'm getting Kakuna is because if they don't bump Turfield, I have a guaranteed Kakuna next turn. And that's good. And I definitely wanted to talk about Kakuna. You know, it's not bad. If it has a grass energy, it takes 30 less damage from attacks. That's, that's whatever. But... If you've watched my opening videos, you'll know that I do not like Crimson Invasion. I, I hate Crimson Invasion. It's a horrible set. There's like two good cards in it. And of course, one of the cards that would be really good in this deck, 
There's a Kakuna that has the same attack as the Frogadier that's in Expanded, which just lets you go and get more Kakuna. But of course, that rotated with Crimson Invasion last year, so Crimson Invasion, you had a card that would be really good right now, and it's rotated because you suck. It's horrible. That is a perfect top deck. So... I think I Jirachi first and hope I get a rare candy. And I got a rare candy, so now... <laughs> okay, so I've been calling my shots so far. Now what I need... Actually, I could try and Pokemon Catcher the Rillaboom and that would just... I should have tried Pokemon Catcher first, I think. But if I Pokemon Catcher the Rillaboom, they're not doing anything next turn. So I think I'm just going to Pokemon Catcher... Okay, I whiffed it, that's fine. It's a little annoying, but I would have just basically taken control of the match from there. And I could have given myself an extra turn if I whiffed this. But now I need a Rainbow Energy. That is not a Rainbow Energy. But I have the other part of the combo. There you go. So this is what you do if you don't get a Rainbow Energy. You use Netball to get your Grass Energy. And then you take a damage counter off Spiritomb with Jinx. And this is amazing. But this is where you have to be careful. If you only have one Pokemon with damage counters and you use Jinx, it just automatically says select a Pokemon to move a damage counter to. If you have two Pokemon with damage counters, it'll ask you to select the Pokemon you want to take the damage counter from and then select the Pokemon you put it to, which gets very confusing and makes misclicks so easy. It is just super annoying. But it's just, it's the worst thing. Because it just, it tricks you. It changes the, the setup of, oh, wow, all my Poké Dolls? Usually I never see a Poké Doll and I'm just throwing up Jirachis and stuff. But as I was talking, you just saw Destiny Stinger knock out a tag team for a single energy and barely any work. I just did, you know, you don't even do damage. That's just how the, the game calculate, calculates it but you don't actually do damage. As weird as that sounds, you take the knockout, but you don't do any damage. You, you just knock out a Pokemon. That's it. It's insane. So you could have a Pokemon with 500 hit points and it says block all damage from attacks and you just throw a Beedrill and it knocks it out. Doesn't matter. It's, it's just a one hit KO. Doesn't matter how much hit points. Doesn't matter if you can't take damage from attacks. It's just insane. Okay, so I think I just do the thing again. Um, I guess I'll... I mean, the Poké Dolls I can just keep recycling, so that's fine. The Jirachi is whatever. Uh, the Weedle, sure. And this is what you want to do. You just want to keep going and going and going. And do I Pokémon Catcher? I do! Do I get a Knockout? Um, I think I want to thin the deck of something that I don't need. The Grovile is definitely something I don't need right now. And so what I can do is I have one more netball in the deck. So hang on, this is this is what I have to do. Put that at the bottom of the deck, put that there, put that there, and then Marnie. There we go. Almost messed that up. And there's my first rainbow energy. Perfect. So I'll just building spite and okay, you have to make sure you read the screen, move it to the Weedle, and then I'll attach that there. And quick ball, ordinary rod. I think I want the ordinary rod because I'm getting kind of low on my dudes. Uh, probably want to put back a Kakuna and a Beedrill next turn, so that's what I'll do. So I'll just hold on to it, and I can put the Grass Energy back in as well. But look at that, I've taken five prizes, and I haven't done any damage, essentially. And all I've done is give up two prizes. I've taken five prizes and given up two. That is nuts. And I do play the Ditto Prism Star, it's just... You can get in positions where... You know, I've, I've been in positions where I just prize two Weedle, and I'm just, I have two Weedle. And it's like, well, I really wish I had a third one, and Ditto fills that void, and that's why you also play Kakuna. And so, literally all I have to do the rest of the game is just get a Beedrill. That's it. 
I get a Beedrill out before they take four more prizes or three more prizes and I win. Otherwise, if they get to one prize and I'm at one prize and I finally get my Beedrill, then we go to sudden death and we can literally go to sudden death a hundred times over because I can just use Beedrill over and over again and be one to one each time. But the cool thing about sudden death is that if you have a bench Pokemon and your opponent doesn't have a bench Pokemon and both Pokemon in the active knock each other out, the person with bench Pokemon wins. So that's something that is interesting. If you don't have a bench Pokemon, you just lose. Or at least that's what's happened to me. Are they just going to knock out the poke? Okay, yeah, they, they knew I had it. <laughs> and that was... <laughs> Biggest attack, zero damage. Uh, damage dealt 30, what did I... And Spiritomb was the MVP, that's hilarious. But I actually did damage that game? What did I do damage? Oh, it was it was moving the damage counters, I think is what the damage dealt counts as, but that was exactly how Beedrill is supposed to function. You go up against a tag team or a VMAX and you just knock it out. Let's go to game two and see what happens. Oh, this is full length. I can I can feel it. You ever, whenever you see that fighting colorless, you know what it is. I don't think there is really any other fighting Pokemon that people use. Uh, no, I don't want to go first against full length. They can they can do a lot of good things if they go first. Um, sleep poison would be interesting. Ditto would also be interesting. I think I put the ditto up front. No, I think I put the Trico up front. And the Great Catcher will be useless if this is full length. Oh, it's the, it's a Lycanroc deck, interesting. So it'll do more damage for, oh, there's a Cramorant. So maybe the Great Catcher won't be useless. This is interesting. But it, is it the energy discard Lycanroc? I don't know. Um, I think I'm in a position where I have to ditch the Great Catcher uh, regard or the polka doll. I mean, I have four of them, and you never know. So I think I'll just ditch the polka doll, get a Jirachi, and see what happens. Because I have four polka doll, I can't get them back. But if they have a GX, then that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Okay, well, turf field is fine. I can at least thin my deck a little bit. So I'll put the ditto down. I will. Netball for a Weedle. I prized Grass Energy, and the Grovile might actually come into play here, which is interesting. So I'll grab Grovile right off the bat. There it is, and I'll pass. And I'll talk about Grovile in one second, and pass. So Sunshine Grace. Once during your turn, you can search your deck for Grass Pokemon and put it into your hand. That's it. It's a stage one. Pretty simple to set up. Oh, Stone Journer. Oh, I want to knock you out of Vmax. Let's do it. But Grovile, I'm not 100% sold on Grovile. Personally, I think you should have Scoop Up Net in the deck, and you should probably have a two Jinx and two Spiritomb. But this is a Beedrill deck. This is not a Spiritomb deck. I wanted to keep the Spiritomb to a minimum, so I didn't get carried away and start attacking with Spiritomb. So it's a Beedrill deck. I put in the Grovile just for consistency. Uh, they're probably going to beat Catch. And the reason I went to get Grovile, obviously, is that it gets me a grass Pokemon, so there's no reason not to get it, because it, it's a one-for-one -one exchange, so... Now I have to hope I get Marnie. That's a rainbow. I think I'm waiting. Because if they can discard my energy, that would be bad. I think I'm just going to get Kakuna, Kakuna, Matata, uh, and then... and try and Marnie them. Because the more cards I get out of my deck, the more chances I have of getting Marnie. So that's what I'm going to do. Watch me go get a rare candy, but I definitely want Marnie right here. I don't want research. I want Marnie. And I mean, that is unfortunate. But I think I'll just sit back and relax. But the problem with this deck that I've run into is that you run out of bench space. You know, you need a spot for Jinx, Spiritomb, and Pokedol, and you don't have room for it. I think I'll just put the Weedle down and hope that things work out. 
And what I'll do is I'll get a bee drill and I'll rare candy this one because the rare candy bee drill combo is a lot tougher than just finding a bee drill and evolving a Kakuna. Uh, and the cool thing here is that I just need polka dolls and I should be fine. And this is why I have Grovile. You know, you lose your turf field and you're totally fine. So I guess I'm knocking out a Cramorant V. So what I'm going to do is use Grovile to get a bee drill, attach the rainbow. Hey, that's awesome. So Grovile for bee drill, and I'll just get another bee drill. And I just have to hope I get a polka doll off the either the Jirachi or the Marnie. Because I have to Jirachi first because I have the switch, so I have to Jirachi first. But I mean, you're seeing, the Grow Vial just helps the deck can be consistent. Uh, unfortunately, it's from Lost Thunder, so it's leaving in rotation next month. Uh, yeah, I don't need a rare candy, so let's put that on the bottom of the deck. I'll switch. And hopefully my rainbows are going to start showing up as well. So I need rainbows and polka dolls. Well, that's one of them. So there goes that. And... Destiny Stinger. So what I might have to do is if I can't find a rainbow energy off these two prizes or my top deck, I'll have to use Quick Ball to get the uh, Jinx and Spiritomb combo and just unfortunately not have a backup Poké doll. And Jinx was prized. Okay. A Spiritomb prize. I should have checked for that. Okay, but I know I have a grass energy, so the netball, oh man, poor netball. It's so good these days, but you can search your deck for a basic grass Pokemon or a grass energy and put it into your hand. I mean, with Quick Ball, you can get a basic Pokemon, but you have to discard a card from your hand, and if you need energy, well, you can't do it. Well, that's not very nice. Okay, well, I'm just going to knock that dude out. Okay, so I think I just go directly into Polka Doll, knock this thing out. Okay, so I need to put a. Hang on, let's see what let's see what's in the deck. Do I have Spiritum? I have Spiritum. I have a Weedle. I have everything I need right now to do this. So that's perfect. So I can just put what two Beedrill back in the deck. Or probably a Kakuna, because I'm taking three prizes, so just a Kakuna and a Beedrill is the right play here. Kakuna Beedrill, because I have two more Weedle, so just the way the math works, that makes the most sense. So I need to... I need to get rid of everything in my hand. So I'm not going to have a Pokedol to take the place, but that's fine. As long as I can get Rare Candy Beedrill the following turn. Okay. So quick ball for Spiritomb, and then quick ball for a Weedle. So it's going to be, if they can bosses, then I'm in trouble. Okay, it, it's a bit of a combo. You know, sometimes it does take some thinking. That goes there, and then Kakuna goes up front. I'll put that there, that there. Spiritomb hurts itself. And then Jinx moves the damage counter, so I want to move it to Kakuna. I need to get a Beedrill, and then... I, I think I just have to go for it with the Grovile. I need to just... Oh! Well, I would have gone to one prize, and they wouldn't have had a backup attacker. But that's two, two three prize decks that I just beat without even taking six prizes. Uh, yeah, so it was the, when you play this from your hand to evolve it, you can discard energy from your opponent's active. Uh, yeah, so it was just a Stone Drinner VMAX deck that I destroyed. Um, and I did 10 damage. Alright, well, let's go to game three. I'm sure the deck will not reveal its inconsistency issues at all. I think regardless of what the matchup is, I'll probably play it through just to sort of show you if it like if it's a single prize deck I'll show you why this deck isn't the greatest against single prize decks. 
Uh, I mean, it's very easy for your opponent to just skip ahead because you don't really have a backup attacker and that's where Spiritomb would come in handy. This is unfortunate. It would have been really good to go second here. But I think, you know, four Jirachi might be a good thing as well. The Grovile, I mean, when that rotates, then it's fine. But I think just Jinx and Spiritomb is a great part of the comp. Oh, hello. Supreme Puff GX. If you have 16... Fairy energy attached to this thing, your opponent shuffles all their bench Pokemon, and you take another turn after this one. It is hilarious. Um, so they can do, with Overrun, they're doing 20-20, so that's actually perfect. So I think I just put the Turf Field into play. Uh, I think I ditched the Cynthia, because I don't want them to know what I have. Because um, then they might not attack. But does that even matter? I don't even think that matters. Sure, go ahead. See Destiny Stinger. See if I care. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to do that. And I'll probably just grab a preemptive Kakuna just for the back one. And then I'll hope next turn I get a rare candy and Turfield stays in play and it's all good. And there we go. But Wondrous Labyrinth could be really bad. I play three Turfield. Uh, so I can bump a Wondrous Labyrinth, but it'd still be very annoying. That is also not great. Uh, okay, whatever. Be like that. That's fine. So I'll just rod back in the Beedrill and the Grass Energy, which is kind of what I was, I was expecting to do. And if I can top deck a Rare Candy, that would be amazing. And they're just going to use Overrun. So that will negate the need for rainbow energy. And what are they putting in this deck? Is this, that's not gonna be an Azumarill, is it? That'd be hilarious. And that's an estate board. That is, I don't know. Do I play the estate board? Because if I put it on the Weedle, then I can sort of get it out of there. But if I lose the estate board, that's, I only have two. I need them for Jirachi, but I think I just made my decision. So rare candy, but there is unfortunately no dude. So I think I just put the doll down. Oh, I did that in the wrong order. Oh well. I'm just gonna grab a Beedrill. I mean, I don't think it's a huge deal. I'm not. I'm knocking myself out next turn most likely anyway. So who cares? And they're not. They're not getting three energy on that thing. And it is an Azumarill. I really wanted to make this card work, but it, it, it ain't happening. Pokedot Search. Look at the top eight cards of your deck and attach any number of energy cards there to your Pokemon. It's cool, and if you'll notice, it doesn't say basic energy, so it's any energy. It can be triple acceleration energy, which would be stupid, but it can also be twin energy. It can be horror psychic energy, it can be speed lightning energy. You just wouldn't draw the extra cards with speed lightning because it's from your deck and not your hand. But, oh, that's so cool. And another card in this deck you might want to have is a Mew, Bench Barrier. And they play the Tapu Lele? This is insane. So, I need some things to kind of work out here. So we're going to overrun again. I think I just go double bead and we see what happens. So there's the poked it all. And Beedrill has a one retreat cost. It goes one, three, one on the retreat cost. So I can just retreat into a doll if I have to. Okay, so I have two Beedrill. I just need any energy. Thank you. Um, well, they're not going to like this. I'm going to Green Catcher the thing. I mean, I have another Ordinary Rod, so I think I think I just Great Catcher the... by discarding these two. Uh, yeah, I mean, why, why get rid of the one that has more usage to me? So I'll keep the one with the escape board. And I take three prizes. And... Would you look at that? All three games you've seen, I've knocked out a three prize there for single energy, and it was that simple. And now what are you going to do? You know, Sanctuary GX is a great GX attack. Move all damage counters from each of your Pokemon to your opponent's active. So not only do you heal all of your Pokemon, 
but you move all that damage to your opponent's active, so you can take a huge knockout with it. But this ain't a spread deck, so that's not coming in handy. And I have two Pokemon Catcher left in the deck, so what I can do is I can knock out this Azumarill, and then I just have to Pokemon Catcher the Xerneas, and that's game. So I don't really need to be cautious or anything, I can just go crazy from here. As long as I take a knockout next turn with Beedrill, then I just have to knock out a GX. And if they put another tag team into... Oh! If they put another tag team into play, then that's perfect. Copycat would be interesting. Oh, an Orcorio. Okay. That's fine. But it would have been funny to see Mimikyu copy Destiny Stinger and knock itself out. That would have been pretty funny. And it is nice seeing a fairy deck. You know, I'm probably going to... I think I have the Gramble deck. That'll be like the one fairy deck that I play. Uh... Unfortunately, they're not printing any new fairy types, so we're losing like half of the fairy types in August, and then every other fairy type is leaving standard in August 2021. So the Gardevoir and Sylveon is leaving, and the, the Baby Trio is leaving, and they play Mina. Mina's leaving this year, but fairy and dragon type Pokemon will be gone from standard at the uh, in August 2021, unfortunately. And why would you play rough? Why wouldn't you use Polka Dot Search? You got you got this dude, you got this dude, you got you got Tapu Lele. I mean, come on. Yeah, see why would you why would you waste Amina on an Azumarill when you're not gonna attack with it? And how many enters? One, two. Oh wow, it's a pretty good one. So three out of eight? Don't tell me it's four out of eight. Four out of eight? Wow. Why'd they put all of it on Tapu Lele? It's the energy attached to me. It's not the energy attached to you. Okay. Um, so that goes there. That goes there. So I think I just, honestly, I think I hold the hand. Like, I have rare candy and supporter. What else do I need? A Beedrill. That's it. So, yeah. And Beedrill goes up front, and there you go. Both Pokemon are knocked out. So I have two prizes left, and all I need to do is Pokemon catcher one of these two. You know, in retrospect, maybe I should have just knocked out that Xerneas when I had the chance, but, I mean, come on. You can't pass up the opportunity to great catcher a tag team. Come on. Playing Beedrill here. And there's a rainbow, so I just have it next turn. If I can Pokemon Catcher, I have it. If they don't Marnie, and I can Pokemon Catcher, that's game. And that is insane. So they can't actually knock out the Polka Doll because it doesn't have any energy attached to it, so... That is unfortunate. Yeah, unfortunately, Psy Wave, it isn't like the Tapu Lele GX with Energy Drive. With Energy Drive, it's the amount of energy attached to both Pokemon. With the baby Tapu Lele, it's the energy attached to your opponent's active. Uh, with, but the real reason this Tapu Lele was good is Magical Swap. Oh, I've won so many games thanks to that attack. Just, whoop, sorry about that. With Magical Swap, two energy, counter energy back when it was legal. Move any number of damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon to their other Pokemon in any way you like. Oh man, okay. Such a good attack. And why is it cruel? And what does it have to do with Street Fighter? Eh? Eh? Okay. Uh, so, I mean, what's their game plan here? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay. Don't send up a two-prizer. I would not do that. Okay, good. And they could have switched into Xerneas Prism. Because Xerneas Prism's ability just lets you put any energy on it once it's moved from the bench to the active. So it, it's basically, a, or it is exactly like Heatran, where you just move all the energy to it. The obvious downside is that it's a prism, and it only does 160 damage, and it takes three energy. But, I mean, it's not bad. If you have three energy to spare, why not? Okay. We're, we're in the end game here. What do you got? Click done, got a switch into Xerneas, got a Diantha for... 
You're saying I don't think they played a supporter this turn, did they? Let's check the lock. They scrolling, scrolling. They use Dance of Tribute. Okay, so they haven't played a supporter, so they can can Mina. Uh, there's a Meryl. The Aqua Mouse Pokemon. Okay, so just waiting on you. Mallow and Lana. All right, there it is. Switch into, okay, then I win. And they don't even take a knockout. Well, good game. Thank you for putting that tag team in your deck. That was awesome. I'll give them the well played because this might take a couple seconds. Because that's supposed to be the animation of evolving and rainbow energy and all that. But thank you for the game. Another game where I knocked out a three prizer with Beedrill. This could not have gone any better. I'll obviously leave the list in the description. And man, that is amazing. It's unfortunate that they have to select a prize because the game automatically gives me mine. Oh man, that was beautiful. Again, I did zero damage that game and I won. And I'm not playing a mill deck or a stall deck. Insane. Please take this deck online. Let me know how you do. Let me know if you make any changes. Just let me know in the comments. Other than that, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you want to. And other than that, I'll see you tomorrow.